when you have problems, I don't know, try to solve them, talk to him and stop being controlling. Let him go to England more often and go make an effort with the Royals. Stop pretending you have to take care of the kids for everything that you do. Yeah, this couple can't get a babysitter. They're the only couple in the world with all the money and just can't find a babysitter. Get a babysitter. Go to England. Go kiss the ass of the king and be good to the Royals. Like, stop, stop, stop. Stop with this, like, I want to win. There's no winning. You're losing by trying to win. Just try to bow to the king, go there, take some pictures, have, like, a breakfast, eat some macaroons, drink some tea, darling. And now for Harry, my advice for him is just like, you know what? Stop with the victimhood mentality. Your book is about being a victim since you're a kid, whatever. Horrible things happen to you. Have a tragedy of a life. But it's time to move forward and move towards a better direction in Take your royal responsibilities back, partially, or whatever you can do so people in England like you more. And don't let your wife go talk to the press for no reason, because we know she's a little cuckoo. You saw her dad. That's my advice. What is your advice? Listen, I think that they need to embrace the public and embrace the attention, but on their terms. When SN when the writer strike is over, there was there were rumors that Harry was going to host SNL. I think he should host SNL. Host Show it. that you got a sense of humor. I think they should go on the Ooh. Joe Rogan experience. I go think, to Joe Rogan. Did you smoke a cigar? You said those were non-alcoholic, right? No alcoholic. <laughs> no, they should. Why? Uh, Why? I'm just Why? kidding. I'm just kidding. They. I'm conveying to your idea. I like it. Go to Joe okay. Rogan experience. Joe Rogan. Invite Prince Harry there. Like, go out there, like talk to people. Start doing like TikTok, like things that are going to get people to see your person. Get a crossbow I, and kill a deer. I will say this, you know, when we watched their documentary, I liked them a lot more after the documentary than I did before. Yeah, and I, I even sympathized with them in some instances. Yeah. And I felt bad for Megan with certain things. I mean, you know, too. so. You got to get out there. Don't just show up at Gallus. Don't just show we up don't at Fake Awards. We don't hate you, Megan and Harry. You, you came to America. You left the royal family for a reason. Now you got to pay it off. You got to be. You said those were non-alcoholic, right? Non-alcoholic. Okay. Uh, you got to be like your th the brand is. But we want to root for you. We love a comeback story. The brand is, hey, we left because it was too oppressive. We didn't want to be there anymore. And now you got to be like, hey, we're the cool free royals. We're, we're down to earth. We'll talk to you. You know, we'll go out. We'll take pictures. We'll go do like the late show. We'll do all. And don't just do Stephen Colbert. Because I know Prince Harry went on Stephen Colbert and they wouldn't even let the audience in. And it was totally effing lame. That would be my advice to them to let people into your world a little bit, be more down to earth, open up, have a sense of humor about this whole thing, chill out, chill. stop thinking everything has to be important. You know, it's okay to just be entertaining. It's and then the when you become entertaining, people will be more interested in what you're doing and they'll be yeah. more likely to support you in your, you know, foundations and your charity endeavors. Okay, thank All you. All right, that's a great advice.